Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in today's episode we will be learning about how to propagate an adenium or a desert rose from offsets as well as how to repot the adenium. So the adenium is a des desert plant and it is a native of uh, sub-Saharan Africa as well as the Arabian Peninsula. So it is a desert plant and when I say it is a desert plant, it is a succulent. So it is from the genus Apokinaceae and it also is from the uh, Plumeria family. And you can see that these flowers resemble the Plumeria flowers. So today we will be looking at repotting this uh, adenium and you see these offsets so you see these offsets have come about here yeah. so we will be taking them off and planting it into another container so generally what happens is like when you grow um, an adenium from seeds it does not resemble the parent plant it becomes a completely different uh, plant so it is always advisable that you use the offsets that grow out of uh, an adenium plant rather than using the seeds. So I will tell you what are the primary conditions that this plant loves and the soil requirements as well. So you see this, the most distinctive part of the adenium is its fleshy stem and it's called cordex so it has both fleshy stem as well as roots it also has fleshy leaves you can see these waxy leaves are a little thicker so all of these things are used to store water because these are found in the desert and the desert regions don't have a lot of water so it is advisable for you guys to reduce the watering especially during rainy seasons as well as winter give it that much uh, give the plant that much of a resting period and do not stress it, stress it out by overwatering it can survive underwatering because it still has water uh, present in its uh, cordex as well as the roots and the leaves so it can survive underwatering but overwatering is an overkill so please do not do that And it generally blooms starting uh, in the month of uh, the end of January, it will bring out these uh, blooms. So th this is the bud and this is how it will bloom. And it will continue blooming till maybe the rainy season. The rainy season, uh, uh, the flowering will reduce, but in winter time, that is when uh, the seeds will be formed and the flowering will completely reduce and the adenium will be resting at that stage. So it is important for you to understand the flowering stages of this plant. And sunlight conditions are that it loves full sun. The more the sun, the better the flowering will be. It can survive in part shade, but the flowerings will be reduced. It will be leggy. It will not attain this thickness that you see right now. So let us first remove the adenium. So I'll show you the cordyx. Just look at this. So, so you see the cordyx here. This was actually under the soil. So now I will expose it by placing it a little higher in the new container. So you see the fleshy roots. So it has a fleshy cordyx. 
a modified stem as well as fleshy roots to store water so now take off the excess soil and the old soil that covers this plant right now take it off So a clearer picture of how the entire plant looks like. So pruning you can you can prune it but I have never pruned this plant. But see like these dead parts I can just remove it. Also the adenium sap especially the adenium bohemian adenium sap is quite dangerous as in uh, aborigines uh, or native people of certain tribal areas are known to use uh, the sap of this plant as an arrow dart to kill uh, prey so just be careful about the sap but I, this is the adenium obesum variety which is commonly found in India for the reporting you need a bigger container so adenians actually like being reported so I have taken a wider container and it has a hole inside you can see the light coming through that is the hole adenium loves drainage so always remember putting some broken tiles or some crocs at the bottom so that water does not remain at the bottom because the uh, the tendency of the water is to stagnate at the bottom so by putting a lot of crocs and uh, broken pieces of tiles we avoid that after this add soil so I'm using uh, you can use any kind of potting mix but preferably sandy potting mix uh, a potting mix which has a lot of sand in it uh, rather than any elements of clay so let's add the soil so since I will be raising the cordyx I will have to carefully place it so that the cordyx is exposed I will need some more soil see this soil actually has a lot of clay matter in it but still the adenium did really well because again it was exposed to full sunlight there are there is a lot of sand in it so make sure that uh, you either use a cactus mix or soil amended with a lot of sand and compost now place it in such a way that the cortex is exposed backfill it with the same soil So 
as you can see I'm creating a mound so this is enough for now keep it in the middle create that mound So now there will be extra additions to it. I will be using some rocks. So these are the rocks that I collected uh, during my visit to the Malpe beach in Karnataka. So if you go to this island called St. Mary's Island, you will get these beautiful rocks for free. So I just see, I just saw these rocks lying in the beach. Uh, so it was really pretty and I was like thinking what a waste of these precious stones so I have been thinking of using it for my adenium so just top it up with these pebbles or any pebbles that you have rocks or pebbles, polished, unpolished, any kind of rocks, it kind of accentuates the plant and So just cover the gaps, just keep it away from the cordyx. And the repotting is done. So Adenium is a plant which loves repotting but please do it only after two or three years. Mine, uh, it, it has been around three years so it's high time that I repotted the plant. But do not keep disturbing its roots because it might not like it and because of transplantation shock, the plant might even die. So just be careful. Now for the propagation, you see these offsets. So you can break these offsets. So there is flower coming here. So I will break this small offset here. So this is an offset and this is also an offset so you can also grow this with the help of a cutting so when you're pruning it do not throw those uh, pruned uh, parts put it in gravel or any other soil medium and you can easily grow them i will be placing this cutting into a pot, a pot filled with grit and then we will see on how it is progressing so water it and just keep it under partial shade for now because uh, do not expose it to too much of sunlight before it starts forming roots so that is it folks I don't really have to water this plant because as you saw the uh, the soil was quite wet so I can probably water it tomorrow or if you're unsure and if you're scared you can still water it because the plant needs to recover from this transplantation shock uh, and other information about uh, fertilizing it does not really you know require too much of fertilization but you can always add anything uh, any fertilizer which has uh, a higher ratio of the element potassium for boosting the flower and the other thing is uh, add a lot of compost it loves organic matter I've seen that my adeniums do well when I add a lot of compost into the container so full sun less water and good compost every month 
would suffice. So thank you for watching Urbanscape Bangalore and if you have any questions you can write down in the comment section and let me know. And also if you like these videos and you want to see more such videos, please like and subscribe. Thank you.